Miles Monroe's book, The Spirit of Leadership, addresses the need for effective and successful leadership in today's world. Monroe emphasizes the importance of integrity, passion, and a biblical lifestyle in leadership. The book has been praised by various individuals, including religious leaders and politicians, who believe it has the potential to equip millions with the spirit of leadership. Monroe's work is seen as a valuable resource for aspiring and developing leaders. The book explores the concept of the spirit of leadership and how it separates true leaders from followers. The author shares his insights gained from years of studying leadership and working with individuals to develop their leadership abilities. The book emphasizes the importance of a leader's mindset and attitude, which is influenced by their internalized discovery of self. True leadership is not about position or power, but about a sense of purpose, self-worth, and a passion to achieve a noble cause. The book aims to help readers rediscover and cultivate their leadership potential by developing the necessary attitudes and qualities of a leader. Leadership is a highly sought-after quality in our world today, but true leaders seem to be in short supply. The uncertain and complex challenges of the 21st century demand the highest quality of leadership, yet many leaders struggle to effectively lead. The problem, according to the author, is that leadership has become a role rather than a way of life. Many leaders try to separate their personal lives from their public responsibilities and standards, leading to inconsistencies and a lack of true leadership. Despite the billions of dollars spent on leadership training, the quality of leaders is not increasing. The culture of leadership is plagued by cheating and corruption, and there is a need for genuine, principled, and spiritually conscious leaders. This book explores the missing ingredient in leadership development and the qualities that distinguish leaders from followers. The author believes that within every follower is an undiscovered leader, and true leadership is an attitude of the heart. A leadership training session leads the speaker to a remote village where he learns a lesson in leadership from the chief. The story involves a shepherd who raised a lion cub with his sheep, causing the lion to think it is a sheep. One day, the lion encounters a fearsome beast and realizes its true identity. The story teaches the speaker the importance of embracing one's true self. The story is about a young lion who has to leave the safe and predictable life of the farm to enter the wild and dangerous life of the jungle. The author relates this story to the principles of leadership and the importance of becoming your true self. It is emphasized that lasting change can only occur when it happens in the spirit of the mind. Attitude is highlighted as a powerful factor that determines one's response to the present and shapes their future. The story shows the distinction between a lion and a sheep based on their attitude and how attitude creates our lives. The author asserts that everyone has the capacity for leadership and fulfilling their inherent potential when they discover and understand who they truly are. Every human has the nature and capacity for leadership, as it is a natural instinct for us to want to be in control of our lives and environments. The desire for power and control explains many of the problems in the world, as well as our attitudes about leadership. Contrary to popular belief, leadership is not reserved for an elite few, but is the true essence of all human beings. Our beliefs about our origin— whether it be evolution or creation, can influence our ideas about our leadership potential. The concept of evolution is still a theory and lacks evidence to support its claims, whereas the concept of creation suggests that every person has a role and contribution to make. Our origins as human beings are believed to be the result of a highly intelligent and creative supreme being. According to the account in Genesis, God created humans in his own image and likeness, making them stewards of the earth. This nature of leadership is inherent in us, as we have the ability to plan, imagine, create, and effectively administer plans. However, there are myths about leadership that have been fostered by our society, such as the belief that leaders are born. 
leadership is reserved for a chosen few or that it is the result of a charismatic or forceful personality. These myths need to be challenged and understood, as true leadership is not about special birth traits, divine appointment, or specific personality traits. It is about embracing our own natural leadership tendencies and fulfilling our central life purpose. The inherent nature of leadership theory challenges traditional concepts of leadership potential and emphasizes the importance of attitude in inspiring and motivating others. True leadership comes from an internalized discovery about oneself and cannot be learned through information or techniques. Changing one's attitude is key to transforming behavior and being a leader. Many people lack a sense of inherent leadership spirit and do not believe they are leaders. True leaders have a mindset and thoughts that influence their attitude and actions. The spirit of leadership is about understanding one's purpose and having control over one's circumstances. True leaders influence their environments rather than being influenced by them. Capturing and cultivating the spirit of leadership requires courage, and the ability to overcome conditioning and excuses. By cultivating their intrinsic leadership potential, individuals can transition from being followers to being leaders. Discovering the leader within oneself involves identifying the attitudes that align with the leadership spirit and becoming who one is meant to be. Leadership is not control or manipulation of others, but rather the willful submission of authority by others, motivated by inspiration. True leadership involves influencing others through inspiration, passion, vision, conviction, and purpose. Leadership is not a pursuit, but a result, and is given by the followers. The priority in leadership is inspiration, as true leadership is 100% influence through inspiration. Passionate leaders inspire others through their clear sense of purpose and commitment to a cause. True leadership is characterized by a progression of purpose, conviction, vision, passion, inspiration, influence, and ultimately, leadership. The effective leaders throughout history have discovered their own purpose and inspired others to join them in pursuing a shared vision. Examples of such leaders include Moses and Martin Luther. Leadership is not a pursuit, but a result of passion and inspiration. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Winston Churchill, Nehemiah, Queen Esther, and Nelson Mandela all demonstrate true leadership through their clear sense of purpose and passionate pursuit of their visions. They each influenced and inspired others to join their causes resulting in significant impact and change. Nelson Mandela, King David, Abraham Lincoln, and Corey Ten Boom are all examples of true leaders who had a deep sense of purpose and passion for their convictions. Mandela worked to eliminate apartheid in South Africa and became the country's president. King David served his people and inspired them to overcome their enemies. Lincoln fought to preserve the Union and end slavery even at the cost of his own life. Corey Ten Boom risked her life to save Jews from the Nazis and later spread a message of forgiveness. These leaders attracted followers through their dedication and commitment to their personal missions. Corey Ten, Boom, John F. Kennedy, Ronald Reagan, Paul, and Mother Teresa all exemplify true leadership through their clear purpose, conviction, passion, and commitment to their chosen causes. They have inspired and influenced countless individuals through their actions and words, leaving a lasting impact on the world. Mother Teresa was a Nobel Peace Prize winner who influenced others to become leaders themselves. She emphasized the importance of taking action and not waiting for others to initiate change. True leaders do not seek followers, but inspire others through their passion and purpose. Leadership requires the willingness to stand alone and go against the grain when necessary. Discovering one's personal leadership potential is essential to fulfilling one's life's assignment and making a unique contribution to the world. True leaders exercise their own gifts and abilities rather than trying to become like others. Failing to pursue personal leadership potential 
deprives future generations of a valuable contribution. Leadership action stems from a personal leadership revelation and the belief that one is inherently a leader. To think like a leader, one must receive the thoughts of leadership through a personal encounter with their true self. The leadership spirit refers to the inherent leadership capacity and potential in human beings, while the spirit of leadership encompasses the mindset and attitudes that accompany this potential. Many individuals are unaware of or discouraged from developing their hidden leadership potential due to societal perceptions and myths about leadership. However, recognizing the leadership spirit is crucial for understanding one's true self and natural inclination towards leadership. The leadership spirit is an expression of the human spirit, which is ultimately an expression of God's spirit. Understanding the source of the leadership spirit involves recognizing that leadership is not something to strive for, but rather something that is already within us due to our purpose and design. Leadership is essentially a discovery and manifestation of our true selves. According to the principles of creation, everything in nature is created from a specific source and possesses the same components and potential as that source. This principle applies to plants, animals, and even humans. Humans, in particular, are made in the image and likeness of God, reflecting His characteristics and qualities. Understanding this concept is crucial in understanding the nature of the human leadership spirit. The purpose of creation determines the design, composition, capacity, and potential of a product. In the case of humans, their purpose is to have dominion over the earth. Human beings are made to have rulership, dominion, mastery, authority, and leadership over the earth and its environment. Purpose determines design potential, natural abilities, capacity, natural talents, natural desires, fulfillment, personal satisfaction, passion, and measure of success and failure. Leadership is not something that man can possess. It is part of who he is. Every human has the instinct for leadership. Jesus taught that to become great, one must be a servant and a slave. This is the key and process for becoming a genuine leader. Manifesting true leadership involves understanding the principles of servant leadership, where one serves their unique gifts and talents to the world. Jesus exemplified this by serving his purpose and giving his life for the benefit of others. True leadership is not measured by position or fame, but by how many people one serves. Servant leadership integrates the discovery of one's purpose, commitment to serve humanity, self-distribution of one's gift, and the pursuit of an inherent vision to serve others. This form of leadership yields authenticity, confidence, and personal fulfillment. It is essential to understand our leadership nature as it determines our attitudes and actions. The attitude of the leadership spirit involves embracing our inherent natural capacity and serving others with our gifts. The leadership spirit is inherent in all humans and is characterized by the desiree to control and regulate one's environment. This desire to manage and influence is natural, but problems arise when power is used in negative ways or for personal gain. The true nature of leadership is to attract others through the deployment of one's gifts in their service. While the desire for power is natural, it must be balanced with responsibility and respect for others. Jesus empowered his disciples to heal, exercise demons, and perform miracles, allowing them to experience their true selves and tap into their leadership potential. Jesus taught that the desire for greatness and leadership is not wrong, but emphasized that true greatness comes through serving others. He revealed the concept of mansions as a position of authority and power in heaven and on earth. Angels who abandoned their positions of authority were held in darkness. Jesus assured his disciples that each of them would have a position of leadership and authority with God the Father. The attributes of leadership reflect the qualities of our Creator. These attributes include omnipotence, omniscience, omnipresence, and integrity. To understand ourselves and our potential, we must reconnect with our Source, the Creator. True leaders are born in the presence of God and govern their environments instead of being victims of them.
Rediscovering the leadership spirit brings comfort in the presence of power and authority. It also brings confidence and a sense of self-worth, leading to internal soundness and security. True leaders are honest and do not manipulate or deceive others. The leadership spirit is marked by a natural love for all human beings, as all are created in God's image. Love for mankind is a priority and evidence of love for God. Leadership should prioritize values such as love, caring, compassion, and kindness over results and performance. Every follower has the potential to be a hidden leader. The leadership spirit is inherent in every human being and is necessary for fulfilling one's purpose. The spirit of leadership refers to the inherent spirit of mankind that possesses the natural qualities and characteristics of the Creator. True leadership is not a method, technique, or science but an attitude. It is a mindset, motivation, and perception of oneself and the world. It is also one's personal philosophy, belief system, and mental conditioning. To manifest the spirit of leadership, one must discover and nurture their true self and choose to fulfill their leadership nature. Our thoughts become ideas, which become ideologies, then beliefs, convictions, philosophies, and eventually lifestyles. The most important component in this process is the source of our thoughts, as our mindset and attitudes are often shaped by someone else's ideas. It is crucial to receive our thoughts from the correct source in order to live effectively. The spirit of leadership refers to the mindset of a leader, but most people do not possess the correct attitudes and mindset to fulfill their leadership potential. Our self-concept, self-worth, and intrapersonal attitude significantly impact our relationships with others. Loving oneself is a prerequisite for effectively loving and leading others. Over 2,000 years ago, a writer and disciple of Jesus wrote about the importance of love and the impossibility of loving God while hating others. The writer emphasized the need for leaders to first love themselves before they can genuinely care for those they lead. Self-esteem plays a significant role in our perception of our value to the world and our sense of significance. Many people, especially women, suffer from low self-esteem, often seeking validation from relationships with others rather than from their relationship with their Creator. Our self-esteem should align with how God regards us, as He has esteemed us highly by giving us the ability to govern over creation self-discovery, and understanding. Our true nature as individuals are essential for leadership attitudes to thrive. This discovery transforms our beliefs about ourselves, mankind, and our role in the world. The heart, in the context of leadership, refers to our subconscious minds and their contents. It is the decision-making center where all our choices, good and evil, are decided. The heart or subconscious mind influences our attitudes and actions, even if we are not aware of it. According to Jesus, the content of our hearts determines our actions and behaviors. People's true attitudes and beliefs are often revealed under pressure, showing what is stored in their hearts or subconscious minds. The term heart in the Bible corresponds to the Hebrew word leb, meaning the feelings, will, and intellect, or the inner man. Our attitudes and actions are influenced by what is stored in our subconscious mind. The heart serves as a reference for our attitudes and actions, and it is where we make decisions and plans. The Creator examines our hearts to reward us according to our conduct. Both our actions and our thoughts and attitudes are held accountable. Jesus emphasizes the importance of what we value and believe, as it preoccupies our minds and motivates our actions. Our subconscious mind plays a significant role in forgiveness and belief, and our convictions determine the contents of our hearts. Our beliefs shape our attitudes and actions, and it is crucial to receive the right information to transform our hearts and exhibit true leadership. The heart is the seat of all subconscious storage, according to King Solomon. Our experiences and interpretations of life are not caused by external stimuli, but by our internal state of being and beliefs. To become a leader, one must pay attention to their heart and consider the source of its content. Your subconscious attitude affects your altitude, 
and the information in your heart determines your beliefs, and beliefs create your attitude. The pursuit of truth is the most important pursuit in life, and the truth about us can only be found in the manufacturer. To develop the spirit of leadership, we must rediscover the original information about ourselves from the one who made us. Ignorance is darkness, and revelation is the light of knowledge. Without the original knowledge of ourselves, we are like a candle without a flame. The Creator enlightens us, and we are then meant to go out and influence others with that light. True leadership is not a method or technique, but an attitude. It requires understanding and demonstrating the mindset of a leader. To fulfill your leadership nature, you must discover and nurture your true self. Changing your life requires changing your mindset. Our thoughts and beliefs about ourselves are influenced by our self-worth. True leaders believe they are needed by their generation. The key to discovering yourself is to discover God. Your beliefs and convictions regulate your leadership. We have lost connection with our true selves and our leadership nature. Everything in creation needs to remain connected to its source in order to fulfill its purpose. The same principle applies to human beings who originated from the soil and must remain connected to their source to live and be fruitful. The Creator made human beings in His image, drawing humans out of Himself so that they would be spirits like Him. The essence of man is His spirit, which has no gender. God then placed the spirit man into two physical forms, male and female. The spirit man is made from the Creator, while the physical bodies of humans come from the dust of the earth. Knowing one's true nature as a human being requires reconnecting with the Creator and understanding one's source. Disconnecting from the source leads to dysfunction and death. The separation of humanity from its source, God, resulted in the loss of identity, self-worth, and purpose. Without knowledge of their origin, humans lack the ability to reach their full potential, make good decisions, and experience peace. Humanity declared independence from its source, thinking it could live apart from it. This act of rebellion led to all the problems seen in humanity today. When humans declare independence, they must create their own identity and destiny. But if they lack the intrinsical resources for living independently, failure is inevitable. The first man, Adam, represented all of humanity and when he rebelled against his source, he detached himself and all future offspring from true identity, purpose, protection, maintenance, and life. This rebellion resulted in a spiritual death, severing the relationship between man and his Creator. Any rebellion against the laws established by the Creator leads to death, the detachment of the spirit from its source. When disconnected from the source, humans suffer, malfunction, and eventually die. Death is a result, not an imposition, of rebelling against the natural laws established by the source. The spirit of leadership, derived from the leadership spirit of man, is lost when disconnected from the source. The impact of this disconnection with the spirit of leadership will be discussed in the next chapter. The chapter also emphasizes the importance of staying connected to the source for proper functioning and well-being. Humanity's disconnection from its life-giving source is depicted through a metaphor of a person unable to access the well they desperately need. This lack of connection and awareness of the leadership spirit has led to a loss of true leadership in the world. The author explains the impact of this disconnection through illustrations involving water and a computer without power. The loss of connection and the absence of the spirit of leadership hinder humanity from fulfilling its potential. The author discusses the consequences of this disconnection and explores the questions that arise as a result. Ultimately, the author emphasizes the importance of the Holy Spirit in rediscovering true leadership. The fall of man has led to a disconnection from true leadership power. Without a reconnection to our source, there can be no true leadership. The Holy Spirit serves as the source of leadership consciousness and spirit. 
the story of a prince who was separated from his royal family and grew up unaware of his true identity, illustrates how we can become slaves to the culture and standards around us. This loss of connection to our source results in a loss of self-concept, self-worth, and significance. Human beings search for meaning and purpose, often through exploring the world around us or trying to find connections with other beings. However, true value and purpose can only be found through a relationship with the Creator, not through studying creation. The average person is easily influenced by external influences because of a lack of awareness of our inherent leadership nature. Humanity has become controlled by things such as drugs, money, and alcohol, which shows the extent of our disconnection from our initial assignment of having dominion over all things. While we may have lost our connection to the spirit of the Creator, our intrinsic leadership spirit still remains. However, it has been obscured by societal and cultural opinions and has not fully become a reality for most people. We are like leadership spirits trapped in a world that suppresses our true potential. This disconnection has also led to a lack of knowledge about how to use the resources given to us by the Creator. We misuse our intellectual potential and use our physical power for destructive purposes. This disconnect has allowed for unthinkable acts such as murder and abuse to become a reality. The Psalm 82 in the Old Testament speaks to the human condition questioning why humans defend the unjust and show partiality to the wicked. Humanity walks in darkness and lacks understanding because of this disconnection. Many leaders today suffer from mental illness, resulting from their detachment from their creator source. This mental illness manifests in confusion regarding identity, self-worth, and purpose. People are constantly searching for meaning and value, resorting to destructive behaviors in their pursuit. This form of mental illness has become normalized in society, but it leads to self-hatred, self-deception, fear, and ignorance. These are the minds from which our leaders emerge, and it is why we need help. King Solomon warns of the dangers of having leaders with a slave mentality, stating that being in a leadership position does not guarantee mental soundness. The current global leadership crisis can be attributed to the fact that the people we elect as leaders are mentally damaged. The cause of our mental illness is our detachment from our source, leading to confusion and mental problems. Our beliefs and philosophy control our lives and leadership, and society appoints leaders who are no wiser than themselves. Beliefs come from what we've heard, imagined, or been taught. Our leaders' thoughts and ideas shape their leadership, and their hearts reveal where these thoughts come from. True leadership can only come from beliefs based on original information and truth. Ignorance and faulty belief are the worst limitations we impose on ourselves as leaders. Regaining the spirit of leadership involves reconnection with our source and discovering the hidden knowledge about ourselves. The loss of our connection with our source and the lack of understanding of how leaders are meant to think and operate prevent us from fulfilling our leadership potential. The disconnect between humanity and the Creator has led to a misuse of resources and a misunderstanding of our true identity and purpose. Our thoughts and beliefs shape our lives and leadership, and without a proper understanding of ourselves and the world, we can fall into self-destructive patterns. Leaders are limited by their knowledge and beliefs, and a ruler with a slave mentality can be dangerous for a community or nation. To restore leadership, we need to reconnect with our source and base our beliefs on truth. The Creator's purposes for mankind are permanent, and He wants us to fulfill our leadership potential. True leadership is more about mindset than methods, and every human was created to be a leader. We are meant to serve others through our unique gifts and abilities, becoming leaders in our respective areas of strength. Both males and females are meant to be leaders according to the Creator's mandate. The goal is to create an environment where many leaders can emerge, contributing to the growth and success of the organization or community.
The text discusses the concept of leadership and the importance of reconnecting with one's true purpose and identity. It suggests that many leadership ideas being explored today are not new, but have been embedded in ancient writings. The text also highlights the role of Jesus Christ as the ultimate leader and authorized dealer for reconnecting humanity to its source. It emphasizes the need for individuals to correct their thinking and attitudes in order to fulfill their leadership potential. The ultimate goal is for individuals to reconnect with their Creator and restore their spiritual, mental, and physical well-being. The return of the Spirit of God to the Spirit of Man is the most important moment in human history since the Creator first breathed into man the breath of life and caused him to be a living being. Being a leader is a natural part of our makeup, but thinking like a leader is difficult. True leadership has more to do with mindset than with methods and techniques. The challenge is to align our thoughts with those of our Creator and to have the attitude of a leader. When our thoughts are corrected, our attitudes can be transformed, and we will be able to fulfill our leadership potential. This transformation is a process that takes time but is made possible through the power and access to the Creator that we now have. Our attitude needs to be adjusted in order to exercise our leadership spirit. Only when we are renewed in the spirit of our mind will we have the attitude that reflects the mind of the spirit. Salvation, reconnection with God, is not necessarily synonymous with conversion, the transformation of the mind. You will never become a true leader until you discover how to think like a leader. Leadership is both an aptitude and an attitude. When you think in a different way, you will become different. Leaders who find purpose and passion and inspire others have the right attitudes and persevere in them. Our mental conditioning determines our success or failure, and in order to recapture the spirit of leadership, we must focus on our attitude rather than our aptitude. Mental conditioning can sustain us and give us the internal fortitude to overcome challenges. The goal of the Creator is to restore the spirit of leadership back to the mind of man. And this can be achieved through renewing our minds and training ourselves to rely on the thoughts of the Creator. Integrating attitude, attributes, aptitude, and altitude is essential for effective leadership. Attitude is a learned behavior that can be changed, and it is crucial for experiencing and achieving our fullest leadership potential. Training in leadership requires training in attitude, as attitude impacts how we respond to life. The author, who grew up in a poor neighborhood, went through a transformation after receiving a Bible and discovering his purpose. Leadership is 20% talent and 80% attitude, and the spirit of leadership can be cultivated through personal encounters with the Creator. Leaders such as Moses, Joshua, David, and Esther experienced transformations in their self-image and attitudes, which ignited the spirit of leadership within them. Our self-image, self-concept, and self-esteem shape our attitude and ability to lead. How we see and value ourselves influences how we treat others. Finally, all behavior is influenced by our self-image, self-esteem, and attitude. When you rediscover the truth about yourself, you can develop the marks of a true spirit of leadership. These include a strong self-image, a healthy self-concept, self-confidence, self-significance, passion, excellence, compassion, creativity, self-empowerment, self-improvement, self-discipline, humility, unlimited ability, possibilities, and self-acceptance. These attitudes can be cultivated and developed through practice and responsibility. True leaders possess these attitudes and can influence others through inspiration. Purpose and passion are the first two attributes that separate followers from leaders. Purpose is the discovery of a reason for one's existence, while passion is the driving force of motivation. True leaders have a compelling destination for their life and a deep desire to fulfill their purpose. Passion is the key to leadership as it drives our desires and motivations. True leaders have a deep commitment and conviction towards their goals, fueled by a sense of purpose and destiny. Passion is internally generated and is not affected by external conditions. 
It comes from a revelation of the future and an understanding of providence. Leadership is born when purpose is discovered and passion is ignited, driving us towards the fulfillment of our goals. Leaders who have discovered something more important than life itself possess qualities of passion that enable them to overcome resistance, pain, and opposition. One example of a passionate leader is the Apostle Paul, who faced challenges to his credibility and qualifications. He listed his hardships and tribulations to demonstrate his commitment to his vision. The attitude of initiative is vital for leaders, as it distinguishes them from followers. Leaders take action and create their own future instead of waiting for others. Initiative is the catalyst that turns vision into reality. The spirit of leadership initiates activity and activates change. Taking initiative is the key to accomplishment and momentum, as well as the manifestation of decisions and the expression of confidence and faith. Embracing initiative leads to growth in leadership and the fulfillment of purposes. Initiative is a crucial attitude for leaders as it demonstrates a willingness to take action and pursue goals. By trying different approaches and not being afraid to fail, leaders can spark creativity and achieve positive results. Leaders who have a clear sense of priorities are able to distinguish between what is truly important and what is merely urgent. They manage their time and resources effectively by focusing on what aligns with their purpose and vision. Goal setting is another key attitude of leaders. Setting goals based on one's purpose and vision is essential for success and helps to drive progress and measure achievements. Leaders understand the importance of setting the right goals and continually strive to align their plans with their purpose. Purpose is emphasized as being more important and powerful than plans. It is stated that purpose should be known and focused on before making plans. Goals are seen as a way to protect oneself from outside influences and to ensure progress towards one's purpose. The benefits of goals are listed, and guidelines for developing and recording goals are provided. True leaders are described as being committed to their goals and understanding the value of teamwork. The principles and necessity of teamwork are discussed, with examples from creation and biblical figures such as Moses. Traveling teams of Paul and Barnabas, Peter and John, and Priscilla and Aquila were common in early Christianity. Jesus emphasized the benefits of teamwork and the diversity of gifts that each member brings. Effective teamwork requires clear roles, empowerment, and effective communication. Innovation is an important attitude for leaders who should think outside the box and combine old and new ideas. Jesus demonstrated a creative and innovative spirit in his ministry, using different methods to perform miracles and solve problems. Leadership requires considering new ways to solve old problems and embracing a spirit of innovation. Leaders should not be afraid to rise above mediocrity and venture into uncharted territory. Accountability is essential for leaders, as they are accountable to themselves, stakeholders, humanity, and the ultimate authority, the Creator. Persistence is a crucial attitude for true leaders, as it allows them to overcome obstacles and achieve their goals. A judge who neither fears God nor cares about men is approached by a persistent widow seeking justice. Initially refusing, the judge eventually grants her request to avoid being worn out by her constant pleading. Jesus uses this parable to illustrate the power of persistence in achieving desired outcomes. He also tells another parable about a friend who persistently asks for bread until his request is granted. Jesus encourages his followers to ask, seek, and knock, assuring them that they will receive, find, and have doors opened for them. Persistence is a key characteristic of successful people who refuse to quit even after making mistakes. The spirit of leadership involves strong self-discipline and self-cultivation, focusing on personal development and continuous improvement. True leaders understand the importance of self-control and have a clear vision that guides their thoughts and actions. They cultivate a disciplined life 
to achieve their desired outcomes. Leadership requires continuous self-cultivation and a commitment to expanding knowledge. This can be achieved through various methods such as reading written material, watching visual material, engaging in personal contact, and gaining personal experience. True leaders possess a passion for personal development and embody specific attitudes including resilience, courage, patience, compassion, self-value, self-confidence, perseverance, strategic thinking, time management, high tolerance for diversity and self-competition. True leadership is both an art and a science, and it is essential for the success of homes, communities, cities, nations, and the planet. To fulfill our leadership potential, we must consult our Creator and reconnect with our true essence and purpose. Leadership is about being true to yourself and discovering your purpose and assignment in life. It is not about striving to become a leader, but about serving and enhancing the lives of others. True leadership is measured by how many people you serve, not how many people serve you. The essence and qualities of leadership cannot be taught, but must be discovered and cultivated through experience and development. In order to cultivate the spirit of leadership, one must practice integrating qualities such as vision, wisdom, courage, integrity, and responsibility. True leaders also value attributes such as accountability, achievement, teamwork, and trust. Within every follower is an undiscovered leader, and the growth and development of people is the highest calling of true leadership. The key message in this text is that attitude is a crucial factor in leadership and personal success. The text emphasizes the importance of positive attitudes in developing leadership skills and achieving success. It also highlights the impact that negative attitudes can have on individuals, particularly those in third-world developing nations who have been robbed of opportunities due to oppressive ideologies. The text encourages individuals to take responsibility for their attitudes and feed them with positive influences.